Today we're trying the first AI browser called Dia. Open Dia's landing page and the first thing you see is Tops are now alive. This AI browser offers you the quickest and most convenient way to learn, plan and even shop smarter. Ok ok ok, we've seen shiny landing pages, but what it can actually do in practice? Let's open the browser and explore 4 quick use cases from very simple to a more advanced one. First use case, chat on any page. You're reading an article and suddenly stumble on an unknown math term. What does R squared even mean? You weren't so good at math anyways. It is as simple as that. Just highlight the term in your browser, click on the chat window and ask Dia. You get an instant explanation while having the full context of the page. No Google hopping, no new tabs, everything right in your browser. And you can do the same thing while watching a YouTube video. When did he explain Y-intercept? He explains the Y-intercept at around 3.35 in the video, right after fitting the line to the data. Second use case, mentioning tabs for context. Say you're planning a trip to Malaga. Again, you have a dozen of tabs open and it's chaos. With Dia, you can just go to the chat and select all booking tabs open and ask, give me the best three options closest to the beach. Dia will read every tab, compare the options and give you all key details in one place, helping you choose. Same applies to choosing a laptop. Instead of browsing an infinite list of options, give it your criteria and website and it will do the searching for you. Third use case, writing and context. Say you get a mail notification. Hi Mikhail, are you joining the client call tomorrow at 3 pm? Instead of drafting a reply from scratch, simply add your calendar and tell Dia to reply. Dia will look at your calendar and suggest a smart answer that you can fill and use with the ease of a click of a button. That's context-aware writing without even leaving your browser. Fourth use case, skills feature. We can make Dia's browser our own by teaching it new skills. For example, we can create a skill called Top Crypto, instructing Dia whenever received to search and summarize today's top news in crypto such that we don't have to search about it. Dia also has a marketplace where you and other users can share their custom skills. Like this one, called Will I Regret This Purchase, that helps you decide whether you will regret buying that bracelet later. All right, so I need to end this video here. However, I want to clarify one important question at the end. Should you switch and use this browser? And my ultimate answer would be yes, switch and try it out. However, do it at your own risk underlined. Why I say at your own risk underlined? You need to understand that building core AI infrastructure and large language models is extremely expensive to build. For that reason, product companies which are integrating AI into their solutions are partnering and using third-party model providers like Dia. Dia's browser is currently integrated with all OpenAI's models and you can literally choose which GPT model to work in your browser. On the other side, this opens up a door with privacy-related questions. Like, what is happening with my data? Is it possible that all of my browsing history gets leaked into the internet? And things like this. I'm sure that Dia's browser team is working very hard on solving these problems and from preventing anything bad to happen to anyone. However, we know that even the best players make mistakes. So for that reason, I would say that, want it or not, this will come in your browser at some point. It just happened that Dia's browser was the first one to implement it. And if you want to be one of the first one that tried it, comment Dia and I'll send you a link where you can download and try Dia's browser. If you liked the video, please like it. If you didn't, please tell me why and we will improve. Bye.